Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to give a quick guide on where to get a fantastic Ash of War, the Ash of War Seppuku, which of course is one of the ones that you want to use if you are running Bleed. It is a fantastic skill, fantastic Ash of War, described as a forbidden technique used by swordsmen from the land of reeds. You plunge the blade into your stomach to stain it with blood, you increase your attack power, and it improves your ability to inflict blood loss. Now, of course, if you apply this to katanas, as it would typically be intended, this then boosts your base blood loss build up which of course is something that naturally comes on your katana so you can then start inflicting that bleed a hell of a lot faster which of course if you guys have used this in game you will see huge chunks of damage so if you want to get this for your build then let's quickly go over how you do that if you do enjoy this like would be super appreciated comment down below let me know if you guys have tried this out yourself and of course do be sure to keep it locked for plenty more elden ring so in order to get this one, it is actually pretty simple, but again, it will require a little bit of game progress. You will need to be much further north, so this is something you will not do at the beginning of the game. You will need to be up further north in the snowy area, and you want to go to the Freezing Lake Site of Grace. From there, you quite simply need to run towards the lake, as you can sort of see me doing right now. You run towards where you see some of those jellyfish, this tree in front of you. And then when you get close, you will find these little sort of silvery footsteps walking around. If you've ever wondered what these are, they are basically a treasure scarab, or as I like to call them, a treasure dung beetle, only it is invisible. So what you simply need to do is you need to realize that these little footprints, or the tracks, should I say, is effectively where the invisible thing is moving. So you then need to stand in that track and then simply slash with your weapon to take it out. It might take a few tries because, of course, depending on the speed of your weapon or, of course, depending on your precision, you might find that you miss it. But effectively, the most straightforward way to do it is simply stand in the track and, of course, as they get closer to you, attack it with your weapon, take it out, and much like any of the other treasure dung beetles, once you've destroyed it, you are then awarded the Ash of War or whatever it is that it contains inside. In this situation, it's Seppuku. So that is how you get it. You don't need to fight any bosses, you don't need to do anything else like that. I mean, technically you need to fight a boss to get this location, but you know what I mean. Anyway, that being said, that is how you get it. A fantastic Ash of War, something that I'm personally using myself a lot on my current weapons. I'll be speaking a little bit more about that in a subsequent video, but for the time being, that's what you need to know. So if you guys did find that helpful, again, a like would be super appreciated. If you guys want to know where to find a fantastic katana, the Rivers of Blood katana, then check out this video and keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring.